Alright, hey Rich, um, although it seems like you have me cornered on this one, I don't think you do. Um, I figured out the misunderstanding and that's pretty much all it is. I just mixed up the dates and documents, um, by accident. Let me explain. In 1974, Cardinal Saper, who served as Prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith, signed a document saying, quote, has ruled that Canon Law 2335 no longer automatically bars a Catholic for membership of Masonic groups, and so a Catholic who joins the Freemasons is ex excommunicated only if, he, if the policies and actions of the Freemasons in his area are known to be hostile to the Church." Unquote. The 1983 document by Pope Paul II was actually not papal bull, but rather quesitum est or est which said simply, quote, The faithful who enroll in Masonic associations are in a state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion, unquote. So that's not excommunication, that's just not receiving Holy Communion. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta hear that again. Quote, The faithful who enroll in Masonic associations are in a state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion, unquote. So that's not excommunication, that's just not receiving Holy Communion. <laughs> I have to say, Keith, that is probably one of the most uh, interesting things you've ever said. Um, he just can't receive Holy Communion, but he's not excommunicated. Um, that's what the word means. To be excommunicated is to be cut off, and one of the biggest um, parts of that is you are no longer able to receive the Body of Christ. Here's a quick uh, snippet from NewAdvent.org, which is the Catholic Encyclopedia, on people who are excommunicated. Um, their status for the church is that of a stranger. He may not participate in public worship, nor receive the body of Christ or any of the sacraments. Um, so, yeah, that's what being excommunicated is. So, that must be a little embarrassing. Or uh, interdict, sorry, unquote. Many prominent Catholics are confirmed Freemasons, not only receiving communion, but giving it to others as well. For example, uh, here's a fairly new case. I've already stated that there are people who are Catholics that are Freemasons. The real issue is here is whether or not the Church is condoning it, which they do not. The Church does not condone it. There's some leeway going on in Italy, and I'm glad they're making amends. But this has nothing to do with whether or not the Church sanctions secret societies, which was the whole point to this whole couple videos. And then on top of that, as well you have Pope John Paul II attending Bilderberg, which was founded by a Freemason and full of powerful Masons. I'm not here to defend the Catholic Church or the Bilderberg group. I really don't care. We should check your information because this has been debunked as being a hoax letter and disinf um, disinformation has been set out in 1999. Um, although I would like to see your evidence or proof that the Bilderbergers are all Freemasons or are run by Freemasons. You've provided none. Replace papal bull with the quesitum ESC, and that uh, straightens everything out. You wish. <laughs> In fact, no, it does not. Quetacitum est is a document that should look familiar to you. It's a declaration by the Congregation for the Doctrine of Faith forbidding Catholics from joining Masonic organizations. They do so. They are in a state of grave sin and may not receive Holy Communion. That means being excommunicated, Keith. It was issued in 1983 by the prefect of the congregation, Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger, who became Pope Benedict. Does this sound familiar? Yes. This, in fact, is the same document as this one. Yes. Or uh, Romano or whatever. It seems like a mere cover-up or a reassurance for some people. And, uh, you know, to make it seem like the Vatican is against Freemasonry when obviously they're not. Oh, don't you see? Oh, you're, you're backwards here, my friend. The newspaper. What was on page two of the newspaper? This was. That's right. The same document which is admonishing someone joining the Masonic fraternity. How is that a conspiracy? It's so obvious. You just got confused between the documents. You had, uh, well, maybe you're trying to backtrack versus a papal bull. Then you said, no, 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 it's just it's quite a CMS. Well, all those things are actually, there was no papal bull, but the quantum CMS is, in fact, this document, the document that I mentioned earlier that showed that they did not support um, membership into the fraternity. 
Here's a pr uh, fairly new example from a pretty credible Masonic website on most parts. Uh, it's Hold the press! A fairly credible Masonic website? After watching your film and hearing you talk about Freemasons, you know, the devil worshippers, the NWO conspiracy guys, you can't believe any of them. They're all part of this uh, big, huge conspiracy with the Vatican and everything else. Now we actually have some of us who are, who are pretty credible. Well, I'm glad that you think that, Keith. Maybe we're making some headway. I would just have you, since you like that credible website, read this on the website. They go in um, to very a lot of detail into the Bavarian Illuminati, which we were going to talk about a little later in one of the other videos. I would have you read a lot of the stuff on that site. It pretty much refutes a lot of your arguments. They do that a lot of the work for me. But uh, it gets a little deeper than that. So read the rest of it, Keith. Great job. You're on your way. Most parts. Uh, it says, uh, bearing in mind the absence of mention of Freemasonry in the 1983 codification of canon law, it would appear that a Catholic may join regular Freemasonry but ought to consult his bishop through his uh, parish priest, not for permission to join but to ascertain the nature of jurisdiction concerned. Are you noticing a trend here? It sure is. Uh, it sure is looking like these connections are, have so much going on, right? They have to get permission. They're asking for permission. They're going back and forth. Well, the biggest problem with this, which you just read, um, if you read down further, which uh, you didn't do in this video, you'll see that the biggest problem with this is in the Declaration of Masonic Associations, or we know as the Quadicium S now, um, it says, it is not within the competence of the local ecclesiastical authorities to give a judgment on the nature of Masonic Associations which would imply a derogation from what has been declared above. So, this is um, this is coming from Ratzinger writing, but st sanctioned by the Pope himself. So, no bishops have any authority, as far as the Holy See is concerned, over what they say. So, uh, so it says right there, no, uh, it's not within the competence of any local ecclesiastical authority to give a judgment on the nature of this. So, it really wouldn't matter. Um, they can't trump. Uh, the Vatican. United States, I believe the answer is probably yes. So there you go, Rich. A lot of Catholics say, yeah, go ahead, and they join, and they don't get in trouble, so that's why I tend to think that uh, Masons are allowed to be Catholics. I don't think it's very strict. I think that one thing from um, uh, Benedict in the early 80s was probably just to reassure some people. I don't really think they enforce it. You don't think they, re they enforce it, huh? Well, here's a list um, of the Diocese of Lincoln who called for the excommunication of all these groups. A lot of them are Masonic, and it, people tried to actually uh, appeal the ruling, and nope, it um, didn't work. It said, under the excommunication, keys, uh, Catholics cannot receive Holy Communion. They cannot be married or buried in the church. They cannot be forgiven or taken any sacraments. They completely uh, let, it, he, they let the... Um, Nebraska diocese blanket excommunicate all those groups, so they do take it serious. I could do a whole I could do a whole video on uh, the, the, the persecutions the church has done on Freemasons. So I just pull some some up really quickly here. Uh, the order, as far as we're concerned, goes is 1917. The Code of Canon Law explicitly forbade Freemasonry. Vatican II came out. Um, Cardinal Scepter thought there was some leeway in there. 1983 came out, the new Code of Canon Law. They still seem like there was some leeway because they didn't specifically mention Freemasons. So the church issued quite a CMS, which clarified that no, you cannot join. And since then, it's been that way. All this with Catholic Church and all is great and all, but let's not forget the real reason why I made this video, which is... In 1983, Pope John Paul II issued the Papal Bull, which overrode Canon Law 2335 legalizing secret society membership for all Catholics. That was the claim. It's been completely refuted. Your futile attempt to try to connect Catholics and Freemasonry is folly. They never issued any papal bull. Uh, in 1974, your idea doesn't work because Quantum X happened after 1974, which you didn't know. It was the same document I just brought up. So it's been debunked. On to the next one.